What's going on guys? Welcome back for more Sacred Stones Lagda Ruins Romp. In the last episode we took care of Chapter 5. In this episode, it's time for Chapter 6. As it appears, we have a lot of spiders to deal with. We've entered what I like to call the Spider's Den. However, I took some time to off-screen some items and do a little couple minor pre-recording uh, Prerequisites, I guess, would be an okay word to use. I checked the map, and there are no chests, so Renak is not going to be brought. Instead, I actually can bring an extra unit, as you can notice, from 10 out of 10, instead of bringing 9 out of 9, so I brought both Amelia and Joshua along. Which is pretty much my entire party, I'd have to say. This is probably the best of my entire party. Anyway, there's also two items I had forgotten to use. One was a Dragon Shield, and one was an Energy Ring. I decided to give Natasha the Dragon Shield because she could use a little extra defense. And as for the Energy Ring, that is going to Amelia. And she has now maxed out her strength, which is pretty damn cool. I was also thinking about giving her a Rune Sword, which I'm actually kind of contemplating doing. Yeah, why the hell not? Let's give her a Rune Sword. She has an and Swords after all, so what the hell. Uh... I also decided to give Natasha her Aura spell, why not? Uh, I really wish she could have an S in Light Magic. I mean, if she could use whatchamacallit, then it'd be pretty useful. Even if it is heavy as shit, I think. Is it heavy or no? Evaldi? No, it's a perfect weight for her. What the hell? Oh, I... Well, now I'm pissed. Oh, well. Let's give her a uh, elixir. Everyone else should pretty much be decked out in what they need. Alright, another white gem. I also took the liberty of yoinking pretty much all the stuff I got off of Hayden and uh, the other guy, Glenn, and taking all their stuff, selling it back, and I actually have $28,000 now. That's from two white gems and one blue gem, so pretty useful. But now, it is time to start up the chapter. As you can see, there's three fronts. One's the main front, one's the left front, and one's the right front. Which way do I want this everyone to go? Well, I think I'd probably put together units who have good uh, mixtures of style. If that makes any sense whatsoever. So I'm probably going to have Ross, Iwan, and Amelia take the left side. As well as Erica, Ephraim, and Tana take that side and everyone else runs up the middle. I think that should be a good enough strategy. I mean, they're spiders, what the hell are they gonna do? They're powerful and they have a lot of HP, but honestly, they're not that bad to deal with. Tana's pretty much going to be taking the front lines because I don't want anyone else to get too much HP, so, or too much experience. Take out the Lance Reaver, and this guy's going to attempt to stab me with the Lance, but it did not work. Last chapter, I did not get any use out of that Lance Reaver, but now I feel like I will be getting a lot better of a usage. And she actually got some strength, so that's pretty good, and some resistance, which she gets a lot, so nothing new there. Also, Erica's almost level 20, so let's give her the last bit of experience she needs before she gets there. Alrighty then. That is level 20. Boom. God, I am so excited, I have to say, to start Battle for Bikini Bottom. I wanted to do that for so long, and I keep promising people, well, at least one person, that. I've been promising Robot Guy Dance for quite a while that I would do that. And originally the plan was it wasn't going to be until the summer that that came out, because I wouldn't have a laptop. But now that I have this, I mean, it does lag. But as long as I'm recording the capture card, it shouldn't honestly be that bad. However, I will probably have to do a lot of file management. I mean, how much space does this thing have? Let me check. Do do do. Uh, computer. Let's take a look. Because right now I've only recorded a couple videos, and already I've used at least a solid, I don't know, 40 gigabytes about. That's from a lot of stuff, but videos are definitely going to take a serious hamper into my space. And I really don't want that to be hampered. Recovery D. Huh, I wonder what that is. 
Is that just like a recovery disk drive? Oh, cool. Recovery. Well, isn't that neat? Well, probably don't want to mess with that too much. All right. Whatever, then. Might as well move Ross up, too, and as well, Amelia. Since they have uber supports with each other, they're pretty much going to wreck shit. Especially that. Look. 95 fucking avoid. How the hell can you not be terrified by that? Hell, if he had the Garm out, he'd probably have over 100. 100 friggin' avoid. He has 89 critical. Like, seriously, what the hell? All three of them have into the 90s avoid. That is just so unfair. God, I love that combination. But now it's time to take care of the spiders. Punch them. Uh, lightning will not kill any of these bastards. So, if I have Kyle rush out, however, it will. Hmm. What do you need, uh, experience with? The sword. But, you know what, I'm going to go with the lance, I guess. Time to be brave, lanced. I'm surprised this spider has a 7 chance to hit him when he's on a column. That's actually a pretty hard-hitting spider. Well, whatever. But now that, uh... Loot's right here, and with Kyle right next to him, her, I mean, she gets a little extra attack, enabling her to kill the crap out of the spider. And without even realizing, I put Joshua and, uh... Natasha together. So actually that was a very smart move on my part because that means literally everyone's with at least one support, which is pretty damn good. I have to admit. I guess the way I did my supports was actually pretty uh, smart. Odd. Usually I'm not like that. Oh my god, one fucking damage off. That's a bullshit. Oh, what the hell. Whatever. Just kill him. Please get it. Oh, no critical. Well, that's a waste. Look at that. One damage B. Whatever. Screw it. Aura worked. And that's everybody. However, there's going to be a lot of spiders probably attacking Natasha next turn. So let's watch and see what they do. That was sad. Does anyone else think that Ross looks like he belongs in Skyrim. I mean, he's just walking around without a shirt on, and he has, like, the Viking helmet, so why not? Oh, that's a critical. 165 damage in one big high-powered explosion of light energy. Sounds like Samus. Anyway, oh yeah, perfect. Just enough damage to kill him in one hit, and then some, because that just did 165 damage again. Shit. Why would the spiders attack her? I know they can probably hurt her and potentially do some decent damage and shit. I've been forgetting about those goddamn Gorgons, haven't I? Uh-oh. That's going to be a problem. Luckily, I have at least one person on every single route with a good bit of resistance, so... They should be able to handle the Gorgons. Tana on the left side... or the right side... Natasha in the middle, and Iwan on the left, so everyone should be covered. Plus, Natasha being in the middle and all, she can actually heal everybody. See, there was actually a plan to me putting her in the middle. So now she can heal everybody. Yeah. However, I did not give her a restore staff, but luckily, if she really wanted to... Oh wait, no, she can't. I was going to say she could trade with... Uh, Erica, but actually she cannot, so that's a little unfortunate, but whatever. Erica's level 20, and the only thing she maxes is luck. That's a little unfortunate. Oh well. Critical of Doom! 71% chance. Alright, let's rush to Nephron, because he's also almost level 20, and he'll pretty much get it off of... Actually, you know what? What is your movement? You have 7, you have 8. One, two, eh, should be fine. Alright, Silver Lance, away! Heavy Spear missed, and Ephraim has defeated you. Bye. That is level 20, and that is level 20 Ephraim. That was a shitty level up. Whatever. 
I would have liked some defense game, but okay. Just don't even give me anything. Why not? Why does it have a times two symbol when it's like one usage? Why hit him twice? All right, you know, I'm saving here just to see if I would hit him twice. I won't, probably. I did hit him twice. What the hell? Why'd you hit him? That's just such a weird glitch. Why on earth does that work like that? Oh my god, that's so weird. If there's only one usage left, he'll double hit the wall. If there's one usage left, they'll double hit the enemy. Like, that doesn't even make any sense. But whatever, I digress. Oh shit. Uh, uh actually, both of them have really good defense, uh, or resistance. And again, stone does not affect the chances of getting hit, so... They have really good avoid, that's all that really matters. As long as these guys stick together, Stone won't have a chance of hitting, and everyone should pretty much be okay. As long as she's not holding the Wind Sword, that's just a stupid idea. Yeah, pull out that Rune Sword, that'd be smarter. Alright, and summon this guy, summon Skull. No, seriously, doesn't the final boss look like the Summon Skull from Yu-Gi-Oh? He does, doesn't he? Yeah. Well, that helped a little bit. All right, Joshua, rush ahead. In fact, I'll put you right there. And I'll put Kyle right here. Natasha right there. Stick with the aura. And loot right there. I'll even, oh, no, won't use that. Still need to hold on to that Hamir and staff. Gotta milk it as long as possible. Up. Oh. 2% chance. You missed. I would have been pissed if that hit. Like, literally, I think I would have, like... Actually, I wouldn't do that. I was thinking I was going to be like, Oh, I'm going to throw this computer across the screen. Wait, throw this computer across the screen? That doesn't make sense. What the hell am I saying? I was mean, uh... I was mean, uh... Ay! I took German. No, I did not. I took Italian. Whatever. Stop talking. Ba, ba, da, ba. God damn it, I'm getting a lot of shitty level ups. I guess it makes sense. I mean, everyone's starting to max out everything, so. Except that I don't think Joshua's maxed anything yet. Why the hell are you getting shitty level ups, Joshua? Is there something you're not telling me? Jeez. Oy. Nope. Well, that was sad. Nice job, Joshua. And that's level 16? 15. Close enough. Alright, I'll take that. That was a go okay level up. He got some luck. He doesn't get a lot of luck, so I'm happy with that. Pretty ironic, Joshua doesn't get a lot of luck. I know, he's kind of a gambler, so... Damn, Joshua fucked him up. Right up the butt. Now, let's see what comes now. Ah, more spiders, of course. And they're all going after Joshua for some odd, unknown reason. Well, that was pointless. Whatever. Do whatever you want, Joshua. Be courageous, Joshua. God damn, Joshua. Slow down. <laughs> He's just kicking all these spider asses, isn't he? Jeez. There's HP, some speed, and some more skill. The Gorgons haven't even moved yet. Jesus. This is just sad. And you're dead. That's level... 19? 17. Eh, that was a okay level up. And she actually has an A with swords now. Holy shit, she's powerful. Oh my god, why the hell is everything, everything aiming for Joshua? Get out of here. But Munch...
I'm happy with that. That 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 is some good results. Good results there, man. All right then. Ooh, nine percent chance. That's not gonna hit. Eh, get that out of here. How the hell could you even stone her? It'd only go from like the tip of the ankle up, probably. I don't even think she really touches the ground at all. Well, whatever. Well, it looks like Tan is the only one who can get any more experience, so might as well go for her. I'll throw Erica up there so she can get her bonus, and Tana will be able to one hit. One hit away! Fucker. Alrighty then. Tana, Amelia, I mean, can go up and kill this guy as long as she uses the killer lance would be perfect actually, and maybe the ja yeah, let's go for the javelin. There's an archer up there, so why not? Alright, do you want to think you can handle this? I think so too. There you go. Kind of reminds me of Four Blaze a little bit, that animation. How the hell do you have a 29% chance of hitting me? Probably because Gleipner weighs a shit ton. That's right. Alright, might as well move Ross there. And, uh, alright, we're going to need to split up here. Cal, you rush out that way. Lou, you're right there. And Joshua, you're going to take the front lines while Natasha sits back. And Ephraim, I'll move you up right there. Alrighty then. Keep it coming, keep it coming. Gotta love Kyle. Yeah! Fuck him up! Kyle's turning out amazing, I have to admit. He's pretty much a boss. So's Tana. In fact, everyone here that I have here has turned out and has uh, given me pretty good expectations. Loot, Natasha, Erica, Ephraim. Ross, uh, Amelia, Ewan, Joshua, and someone else who I probably forgot to mention, but yeah, I forgot to mention them. Sorry. Probably Kyle. Or maybe it was Loot. I don't remember. Maybe it was Tana. Just know that everyone here has pretty much exceeded my expectations, and I'm very happy with that result. Alright. You move up. Oh, god damn it. Who has a spear? No one. Of course. That's just friggin' brilliant. Alright then, Tana. You take care of him then. Yeah, let's go with the Lance Reaver. You almost have a uh, perfect A with swords. So, let's go achieve that. Even though that does not lead to anything. Because you cannot get an S with swords. But you can get a better A. Because you can increase your skill with the sword, and it will not lead to anything. But I will increase that damn skill anyhow. Alright. Ross, I'll throw an Ewan, he can summon. Not sure what this summon's going to do, but I'll think of something. Oh my god, can he kill this guy? Can he kill this bitch? I think he can. Does he have the speed? No, he does not have the speed. Son of a bitch. Well, he can pretty much harm his ass. Her ass, whatever. Wham! Why'd she have to turn around in order to stone me? That doesn't even make any sense. Alright, now I'll have Amelia rush ahead. I'll even give her a javelin for fun. And since this guy's stoned, he'll block his path and he'll also block hers. Because she can't even attack back and something's probably going to come up and kick his ass. But I don't really care that much. Aura! Boom! God, I love that. And I clicked off the page. Alrighty then. Uh, I'll have loot rush out here and take care of this guy. Why not? Lightning. Bam! Alrighty then, I can also give her a Divine now, I mean, she has enough Con to hold one. Or at least, well, almost hold one, without any 
problems. So that would be pretty smart to give her. I'll even have Kyle take care of this guy with a killer sword. Or almost take care of him with a killer sword. He came pretty close, and that's level 16, right? 19, never mind. I cannot guess levels anymore. I used to be able to, but now I cannot. Uh, let's go for the Brave Sword. That's pretty much been helping him through this entire thing already. And that it has. That it definitely has, Joshua. Think that was a little overkill much? Whatever. Enemy turn, your move. Dipshit. Well, that was painful. Please don't stone me when you Gorgon assholes. I really don't want to be stoned right now. No, I don't mean the drug, I mean the goddamn spell. Well, I guess I wouldn't want to be stoned the other way either, so yeah. Just don't stone me. I don't care which way you mean stone. I don't care if you mean the cru like the other form of crucifixion, that form of stone, like being pelted with rocks. I don't want to be any form of stone today. Neither me nor my units. Yeah. Silver Lance broke, of course. But he got one last critical with it before he ended off, so I'm happy with that. And Steel Bow missed. Zero percent chance. Now with twenty percent juice. Alrighty then. Oh, here comes the iron bow. You missed. Now with twenty percent juice. Here comes the long bow, a frickin' course. Oh, that's just fantastic. Crimson Eye, why not? I mean, what the hell, it's like 14 damage. Actually, wait a minute, is it called Crimson Eye? Huh, that seems kinda odd that he's like level 20, huh, that's odd. Whatever, just take care of him. He's dead. Boom! God, I love that attack animation. And he can also take care of this guy with his wind sword. Or most of them. At least. Killing edge away! Bitch. To the crotch. Wind Sword 2. Nope. Alrighty then. Da -ba -ba -bom. Uh, I guess I'll have Ross charge up with the Killer Axe. Fuck off. I'm surprised that wasn't a critical, but whatever. Have Ewan charge up. Tell this guy to fuck off with Gleitner. Wham! And finally, Amelia is going to rush up there and take care of whatever's up there. You! I shall use my... Uh, rune sword? Nah. Let's use the wind sword. Yeah! And he missed. God, that thing is ugly. There's a face only a mother could love. And I'll have you charge up. Time for the Steel Lance of Doom. Which isn't really a Steel Lance of Doom, it's just a Steel Lance, but I added a Doom of Doom to make it sound more threatening. I'll even throw Eric up there. Oh, cool, a door key. Well, why the hell did you give me a door key? Whatever, I don't care that much. I guess to unlock that door down there in case anyone down there needed help, but really there's no purpose. Just break down the wall and charge him. That's level 20, and that's a little bit of defense, so that's pretty cool.
die. And there's another door key. I don't need that. Here comes the steel bow. That was totally pointless. Here comes another long bow. That was totally pointless. And finally, the final archer with a steel bow. That was totally pointless. I wonder if I could end it off this turn. Maybe if I'm really tricky with my movements, I could end it off. Possibly. I'd probably have to have you use Sigmund. That worked. Now I have Tana rush ahead and kick the crap out of the boss. Actually, I'd probably have uh, you rush ahead first to kick the crap out of you. Close enough. Now have Tana rush ahead and Silver Lance this guy. Please get a critical. No reason, just it'd speed things up if you did. No critical, fine, whatever. Pay no attention to the guy behind the curtain. Why did I quote Wizard of Oz? I don't know, but I quoted Wizard of Oz. Sue me. Actually, you probably can sue me, so don't sue me, please. Gleipner! Bam! That was a solid 129 damage. And that was an okay level up, but I think that actually gave Ewan everything he needed for... Uh, level ups. Yeah, he's level 20, so that's pretty good. Alright then. I could actually heal myself from the wall. That's pretty funny. Uh, let's just use the javelin. It's not gonna be any slower or faster, so. Whatever. Time for the lightning. The lightning. Whatever, however you pronounce that. Yeah, I could definitely end it off with the monster's turn. So this is almost done. Uh, let's go with the wind sword. Why not? I haven't used it enough. It's not really a useful item for Joshua to have right now, but whatever. It helped him in a couple instances, like attacking that archer from behind uh, Natasha. That's about it, though. Uh, now time to have Kyler and Natasha. Oh, if I have... Oh, can't reach. Oh, well. I'll just have Natasha do it then. Boom! God, I love that attack. Why do I always say boom every time it works? It's not like it's going to add anything. Whatever. And right through the chest, he's dead. What is that now? Level 19? 18. A little more HP and a little more luck. Hey, if she gets one more point of luck, she's actually conquered luck. That's pretty cool. Why on earth would you go after Kyle? Seriously. I know you have a better chance of hitting him, but come on. That's just not smart. Why would you go after Erica? That's even dumber. Whatever. There was just not much you could have done in that situation, I guess. But with that, Lagda Ruins Chapter 6 is defeated. Proceed to the next floor, of course. Lagda Ruins 7. Do we get anybody? No, we do not. Oh boy, here's the one I've been waiting for. Oh great, here it is. Yep, a Gorgon's the boss, and she gives you a black gem. But, pretty much, you're going to have to deal with a ton of fucking Gorgons. Isn't that just brilliant? Luckily, it seems like all they have is Demon Surge. Where the hell's Shadow Shot? Do they even get Shadow Shot or no? I don't remember. 
but there's a lot of Gorgons for this chapter, so this is going to be a very fun one to take care of. Is there even any chests in this level? Because if there isn't, I don't even have to... Oh, damn it, there's one. Well, I guess I'm obligated to go check what that is, so... Well, next time on Fire Emblem Sacred Stones, Chapter 7, The Gorgon Nest. We just took care of the spider nest, now it's time for the Gorgon Nest. See you guys for that next time. Bye.